Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to our channel. Welcome friends, family, perfect strangers. This is a Dollar Tree haul for you all and I'm going to start off with Halloween. I know Halloween has already passed, but I found this cute, stinking cute bucket on my out of town trip and I had to pick it up. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. So cute. But it is this little bucket pail, whatever, and it's got the ghosts, the little bats, the jack-o'-lanterns, the candy corns, the spiders, and it's pretty decent size. It actually fit three of my items that I'll share with you here in a minute. Perfect. So it was easy for us to tote things around. So there's my one Halloween item. Then let me show you what I picked up for fall. They have these ceramic plates, ceramic, not melamine. It's got the black and white buffalo check um border rim whatever and it has this banner and it says happy fall i only found four of these at one store i picked up four of them and then i thought i have i like to have errors and spares in case one breaks in case one cracks whatever um i only found four of these i went ahead and picked them up and then i found two of these gather together and I figured I would put the gather together at the heads of the table and this, you know, on the other chairs. Um, but that is what I found. Um, can I tell you, there was so many other sayings as well. I decided I'm not going down that rabbit hole. I don't need it. I don't want it. So I just left all the other sayings there. If y'all want to see it, check out your local Dollar Tree so that you can see the other sayings that they have. And then that is all that I picked up in the way of, um, oh no, sorry. I found this. I was looking for it. I had picked up one, got home, read it, fell in love with it, and could not find a second one. Um, while I was out of town, they had these aplenty out of town. So I picked up another one of the Welcome Autumn little cappuccino cups. It's the pressed wood. So I got that. Now that is it for Halloween slash fall. Um, everything else that I'm going to share with you besides just your regular everyday items is going to be Christmas as far as seasonal goes. Okay. First, let me show you what I picked up in the makeup aisle. These next three items are all from Be Pure. Um, all of it is called Essentially Ageless. The first one is a hydrating lipstick infused with serum. It's paraben and phthalate, phthalate free. This is in the color Pink Lily. It is in the packaging, so I wasn't able to see much of it. And apparently it has B5 in it. Let's open it up and see, shall we? What we think of it. I don't even know what this line is. I'm sure it was a closeout from... I'm sure it was a closeout from... Uh, what's it called? Walmart. That's what it looks like. Mm. It's very creamy. It does have a scent to it. I can't pick up on what it is. It's not bad. It says, Feel confident in essentially ageless lipstick infused with vitamin B5 and serum designed to help keep your lips hydrated. It is manufactured by the Four Star Group. So, found that. Then I found from Essentially Ageless, I found these um, illuminating blushes, and I picked it up in Hibiscus and Dahlia. I'll bring them up close so you can see it. Hibiscus and Dahlia. Can you see the color? Let me try to bring it up close so you can see the color difference. So your top one here is Dahlia. It's like a darker rose and then you've got the lighter color that is the hibiscus these are the only two colors that i saw and i only like i said i saw these at an out of town store and just about every store that i did visit um from out of town had the same exact things um if i saw the brand the essential the be pure essentially ageless i checked to see if there was any other different blush colors or lip colors all was the same so I'm assuming everybody got the same I don't know you let me know in the comment section down below if you saw different colors or even different items maybe there's an eyeshadow maybe there's a concealer I just don't know that's just what I saw while I was out there 
Then they had this, it's from Color Central. It's Color Central Pouty, and this is a lip gloss and lip color combo package. I guess they brought it out like for Christmas. You can see the color there, it's very pretty. I don't know about the lipstick, and it is sealed on the top, so I didn't open it, and I'm not gonna open it because it is a gift. Then I saw this that is a mascara with lash extension. This is from a brand called Makeup Depot. I only saw this at one Dollar Tree. I was going to pick up one for each one of my daughters, and then I was like, nah, because what if they don't like it? Um, so I just ended up with one, and I didn't see it anywhere else. Oh, it's quite heavy. This is what the packaging looks like when you get it out of the packaging. So it's mascara, and again, it is from Makeup Depot. And it says it contains I don't know I can't read that I should take a picture of it so that I can show you I think basically it's like the um, what is that brand called unique with the Y unique I think this is something that has like the fibers so then when you do yours like it extends look at can you see the fibers um, are, are you able to see the brush there you go can you see the like I think it has fibers infused in the mascara so that it makes your lashes look longer so again I only picked up one if anybody has tried this mascara lash extension for Makeup Depot can you let us know yay or nay in the comment section down below. We'd love to hear from you. Now, I only found this item, Barbasol, at one store, but then I went to another store on my way down from my trip. I stopped at a Dollar Tree and they had the Barbasol tweezers. It was a two pack set of tweezers. I'll share with you when I get to that bag. But at this particular store, I found the rubberized handle with stainless steel head non-slip texture cuticle clippers they're calling them cuticle nippers stainless steel head rubberized handle and yeah i thought that was a great deal for a dollar 25 and barbasol is name brand name brand name brown this was on a clip strip or a strip clip in case you're looking for it that doesn't mean that it's going to be on a strip clip at every store but that's where i found it oh and also ladies and gentlemen I took a picture for you all. I was going to, I'll probably put it at the end of this video if I can, but if not, let me just share with you real quick. You know how I tell you guys all the time, check the store everywhere up and down for items that you're looking for. This particular store in the makeup aisle and where they have their hairbrushes, they had all of these stickers. Do you see all the stickers? But it's in the makeup aisle. Can you see that it's in the makeup aisle? Here's the LA Colors setup. Here is the Remy, and you can see like the hairbrush. Hold on, let me zoom out. Here you can see like the hairbrushes and the cotton swabs, cotton balls and stuff, and they had the stickers all there. Do you see that? Hold on, let me turn it back like that. So, if this doesn't prove to you all that you need to go down every single aisle, every wall, to find what you're looking for, I don't know how else to tell you. I say it all the time. I have seen things that are automotive be in the beauty aisle. I want you to know that another thing, I didn't take a picture of it, but they had the little rubberized clips that I picked up a few months ago from the school supply section. It had like the smiley face, a rainbow, different clips. I saw those at one store in the baby aisle in with the baby stuff because it was color coordinated and it matched the other baby items they had but that's not a baby item so that's what I'm telling you you need to check every aisle up and down top to bottom every end cap because you'd be surprised where you find things I remember back in the day when I was so crazy for washi I found washi in the automotive aisle in the automotive aisle one time in the frozen food section. I don't know. 
Anyway, let's continue on, shall we? I'm done with my rant. I picked up these beauties. They have the sawtooth hanger. They also have the this in case you want to hang it by this, like the twine. These were $5 each. This first one is Farm Fresh Christmas Trees, established 1923. It's got the green and black buffalo plaid background, and then this is glued on like a separate piece. Now, you and I both know that if we found this at Hobby Lobby, even at 60% off, you're not going to pay $5 for it. Maybe $10, maybe $15, not $5. So there's this one. And then I also picked up this one that says, family-owned Christmas trees, farm fresh, established 1965, cedar, spruce, fir, pine, cut your own. And this one has the black and white buffalo check. So it's just your preference of what you like more. Those are $5 each. So let me move those out of the way. $5 each for those. Then I found these signs that have the wooden beads and uh, hanging tags. This one was $5 as well. There's the price, $5. These are called wall decor pieces. This first one says jingle. So it's got your snowflake, then your J-I-N-G-L-E, and then they're hanging with the little twine, and then you've got your colored beads. And then I picked up this one that says, by the way, this one has a white background. And then I picked up this one with the black background that looks almost like chalkboard that says, believe. Again, all with like wooden little tags. It's got your, your crafty beads on top, right? And it, they're all, the little letters are made to look like little tags. So there's jingle and believe. Those are the two that I found. I did see these at several, several stores while I was out of town. And I kept finding just the Jingle and the Believe. I did not see any others. So I don't know if there's others out there that are in that theme with different sayings. I didn't see them. Next, I thought these were super duper nice. And I'm going to tell you something. Again, out in the wild, you're not going to find them for this price. These were $5 as well. These are the ones that have the metal inserts. They have the twine for you to hang them from. This first one is Kris Kringle's Sleigh Rides, horse-drawn, 25 cents. But wait, there's more. Holly Farms Open All Season Greenhouse and Nursery Christmas Trees and Wreaths. Look at how beautiful this one is. Look at how beautiful this is. At Dollar Tree, ladies and gentlemen. Even though it's $5, you're not going to find this at Hobby Lobby or Michael's or any of those places for 5 bucks. And this is the quality that you would see at one of those stores. And then the last one that I picked up, white trim, natural trim, red trim. This one says North Pole, gingerbread bakery, always fresh, made with love, bread, cake, cookies, cupcakes. Five dollars and remember they did something like this for fall with the copper at one of the stores that I stopped at they had all of those copper pieces and all the fall pieces including the palette decorations um, buy one get one half off and another store that I went to was buy everything was half off and we haven't fall hasn't passed yet and they were already marking it down and I did buy a couple of things from that department but just things that I thought were cute and I had not already bought. I did not buy double of any of the stuff that I already own. Even though it was discounted down, I didn't buy any of it. I was like, nope, I'm not touching any of it because I don't need extras. I just kept on walking. I was like, no, no, no. Next up, I found these little uh, tabletop pieces. They're $3 each. They're calling this the Christmas Village Scene. This is the first one. It says Merry and Bright. And it's got your pastel colors and your little pastel bottle, bottle brush. I just noticed that the fence is crooked. And this part of the house is crooked, which is going to drive me insane. Merry and bright. The next one is like a little church house. And it says joy and it's got the snowman on it. And it's got the green bottle brush. And then the last one is like a town square. And it says, oh, welcome. 
It's a town square. Welcome. You can see all the pieces. It's got like the school house and then like a home or maybe a townhouse and a home. And then it's got the lighter green bottle brush. So I picked up those three, $3 each. Christmas Village is what they're labeling that. Christmas Village. So there's that. Then I was super excited to find these. I really wanted them. So I was thrilled when I saw them out of town. These are $3 a piece. They are the soap dispensers. I picked up the Santa Claus and he is so stinking cute. I'm very particular about my Santas. If they're scary or just they just don't do it for me, I will not buy it. But this one was so stinking cute, so I got it. This one, you guys, I it reminded me of the vintage Christmas trees. So there's this one for $3 that's just the Christmas tree. And then the last one, which is my least favorite, but I went ahead and picked it up anyway because I thought, well, I can use it in the guest bathroom, is the red truck with the red truck with the tree on the back. I'm trying to get that tag out of the way so you can see it. There you go. It's your red truck with the tree in the back. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think that they did a very good job on the paint job on this thing. I think they sloppily made it. Um, so me personally, I don't really care for that one. That's just my opinion. Who's What's that from? That's my opinion. So there's that. Um, honestly, I think they could have done for $3. I think they could have done a much better job on the painting on this one. It's just really, really sloppy. But you guys tell me. I want to hear from you all in the comment section down below. Next up, I picked up these tabletop pieces. These were $5 each. They are labeling these uh, Woodland and House Assorted. So the first one is Peace on Earth. And it's got your two little bottle brush trees on each side. And then there's this one that says, Home for the Holidays. Home for the holidays. I don't know why when I said home for the holidays that last time, I heard just a closer walk with thee. Oh yeah. So there are those two available as well. Then I picked up one coloring book. I saw Fun with Spot and this is Spot Visits a Farm Color and Activity. And I just got it because I thought it was easy coloring. I really, I love Spot. I love anything having to do with dogs. You guys know that. And then Wildfire came over to pick up all her items from Hobby Lobby that I had purchased for her. And she's like, who's that Spot coloring book for? And I said, you. And she goes, okay, I wanted to make sure. So she's already laid claims on this. So I'm going to put this to the side so that I know that she takes that with her. And then these next two items I'm going to warn you about. I'm going to give you a little FYI, a little warning, Okay. There's two of these. There is Home for the Holidays and there's the Tis the Season to be Jolly. But I'm going to share something with you. A lot of these, this part was completely off. A lot of these, the pine cones were completely off. Some of them, this metal hoop was missing. Others, the bow was missing. Or the craft, what is it called? The burlap piece right here was gone. Okay, I hunted the store and found the two best ones. Okay. So this is home for the holidays, got the black frame. But then the cashier didn't care. And when she put this one in the bag, she just shoved it in there. So I'm going to show you what happened. Now I just lost them. The pine cones completely fell off. They, they were supposed to be right there. I dug so hard to find these. The bow is off because of the way she shoved it in the bag. So now I'm going to have to glue that back and then she was like just go get another one and I was like there is no other ones because the other ones are missing the hoops and the bows and the whole thing down here so I was like I'll just go ahead and take that one and glue it when I get home but this just goes to show you you have to remember that they work a lot of hours for not a lot of pay and they don't care the way they put stuff in the bag so if you care about the stuff that you're buying you know maybe just Ask them to be extra gentle or just bag it yourself. After after that happened, I just bagged the rest of my stuff on my own. I was like, I'll just bag it. It's okay. Thank you. Because I was really disappointed at the way she manhandled that one. And I mean, granted, should stuff be falling apart that easy? No. Which, again, it just goes to show us that even though that was, there went my bow, even though it's $5, it's not the best of quality. 
especially if they're using hot glue because that's kind of my luck whenever I use hot glue everything falls apart within a day I think we should try to use Gorilla Glue now last thing that I picked up was this four feet tall sign that says oh welcome when I move it the other one's gonna fall right yes it says welcome it's got your holly it's in red welcome although you know what I heard you really shouldn't put welcome signs out at your front door something about welcoming in evil spirits I don't know if that's true I don't know what to believe anymore but that's what I heard and besides that do I really want people coming to the house no not really so I'll probably pass that on to one of the girls or I will exchange it for something else because you cannot make returns and get either, you can't get your cash back, you can't get credit back to your credit card, but you can exchange it for something else. But this one I absolutely love. This is Farm Fresh Christmas Trees. Look at the Christmas trees, how beautiful they are. It's got the glitter, but it's got a lot of fallout. You see it all over my hand now. So you need to hairspray that. But it says Christmas Trees, Cut and Carry. And then it's got like this gray colored wood trim I love this this one I love so this one I have no issue with I'm keeping that for for sure and that is it for this Dollar Tree haul you all it's been a while it's been a while since I've done a Dollar Tree haul but I had to go out of town I didn't go out of town for this reason but I had to go out of town to be able to find anything new for you because my Dollar Trees didn't have anything that's again that's not why I went out of town I went out of town for a concert that I had bought my ticket for since last year um so that's what i went and then while i was out i decided to hit up some dollar trees and some other stores and i will be bringing you those videos so again i know that you are here for what i share not for what i wear i'm probably going to be wearing the same top for all these videos because i'm taping back to back to back to back i don't know when you will see them i don't know what date or date you will see them but know that if i'm buying i am sharing so with that being said i'm going to go ahead and close could you, would you do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up because it lets me and YouTube know that you like these kinds of videos. Also, if you're not already a family member, what are you waiting for? We'd love to have you. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button down below. It is free, 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 free. There's also a bell next to that that you can click so that you get notifications as to when I upload a new video so you all don't miss out on any of the fun. And for now, goodbye from Texas.